Hey everybody, welcome back to Finnybits. Today we're checking out the Forkin Film event for Princess and the Frog in Los Angeles, California. This experience is the movie and foodie lover's dream. It is a bit pricey with general seating costing a little over $200 a person and VIP seatings as high as $300 but what you get is living the dream of eating the food that's in your favorite movie. In this event, there is a total of 8 courses including 6 food dishes and 2 cocktails. And each course is specially curated and is served the moment it appears on screen. This event is hosted at the Wayfair Hotel and there's a bunch of parking with almost equally expensive prices. Once we entered the lobby, we were able to check in right away. We were then guided downstairs and greeted with a glass of champagne. There was also a live band playing songs from Princess and the Frog which made an awesome first impression in our opinion. Our table was decorated with Mardi Gras necklaces and look at this candle, the details. There was popcorn already waiting for us which we obviously snacked throughout the movie. For our first course, we're having the Big Easy Biscuit. It's very soft but dense at the same time, almost like a cake. With a Creole butter, this made the biscuit more savory than sweet. We were also wondering how we were going to film our food in the dark but we're encouraged to film freely as we like because we got to do it for the gram. So if you were also curious, now you know. As the movie started, it wasn't long until Tiana helped her dad with making their famous gumbo. Oh man. Oh man. Good job, Fork and Film. This was freaking delicious. Cool fact, the owner of Fork and Film is from New Orleans, so you know this had to be good, or else somebody was going to get fired. I think we both agree that this was an 11 out of 10. This gumbo is so bold, spicy, and deep in flavor. They definitely did not skimp on seasoning. They were generous with the andouille sausage, however the rice was a bit overcooked, but the gumbo is the star. For our third course, this is when Big Daddy eats his beignets, and that's when we got Big Daddy beignets. Not gonna lie, expectations were high, but it was just good. The flavor is there, it's sweet, powdery, and the honey drizzle makes a difference, but it was served cold and not as fluffy as we hoped. Then came the Shadow Man scene. Personally, my favorite part of the movie. The music, the dancing, it just scratches that part of my brain, you know? We got the voodoo potion and they absolutely killed the presentation. We got the cocktail and mocktail version. It is sweet and the grape juice isn't overpowering. The dry ice is a nice touch and really elevates the Shadow Man's character. We were each given three tarot cards as well and it's such a personal touch that makes the whole experience so engaging. However, we're not allowed to keep the cards. This scene was when the swamp alligators were trying to eat Tiana and Naveen. They did escape however, we hypothetically became the alligators because for our fifth course, we were served fried frog legs accompanied with an actual real alligator head. We've had frog legs before but none cook like this and these are actually pretty darn good. The frog legs are tender and have a lot of meat for a little frog. The texture is like chicken and there's actually bones in it so be careful. What an adventure so far. In this scene, Louis was going through a tough times, so to make him feel better, Tiana suggested that she make her swamp gumbo. Our sixth course is the swamp stew, which is chicken and dewy and shrimp jambalaya served in a cute pumpkin bowl and on a lily pad. This dish is filling because of the rice and protein, but it's tasty and has a strong flavor of Tabasco. We celebrated Lottie's Mardi Gras wedding with a king cake espresso martini. The cocktail version is strong but sweet. It has hints of cinnamon and deep espresso flavor that actually tastes like chocolate milk which makes this drink kind of dangerous. How I would describe the mocktail is that it's a fancy version of a chocolate milk and I like chocolate milk so I downed it. 10 out of 10. It was so good. For our last course, we were surprised with a spectacular dessert that is a traditional New Orleans king cake. This dessert is a cinnamon brioche pastry with a sugar glaze and it is delicious. It's crispy, flaky, and sweet. The sparkler is definitely the perfect way to toast a newlywed. What an ending to our dinner and movie. Overall, we had a great time at Fork and Film. Although it was a bit pricey, we think that it's a great try if you've ever fantasized about eating that delicious food you saw in a movie. The food was actually very tasty and there wasn't anything that we didn't like. Even though the food came out in small portions, we were both very full by the end of the event. 
The service is outstanding. All the people working there are super friendly, accommodating, and attentive. Even though we got general admission seating, we felt that we were still served quickly and on time with the scenes of the movie. They do not pause the movie at any time for service, by the way. The movie is played with the lights off as well, so the fact that they were able to serve it in the dark so effortlessly, it's really impressive. We were seated in the back half of general admission with cushioned bar stools and a backrest and high tables. Front GA seatings are regular chairs and tables, but because we were in a pretty small room, we thought that any seat would have a good view of the movie. These are the VIP boots, and it includes first priority service, a whole bottle of champagne, and sofa seating. These are the front row seats, and it includes second priority service, and has an unobstructed view of the movie. You can choose your seats when booking your ticket unless you choose general admission, which is first come first serve. If you're interested in trying Tiana's food, you can book tickets through their website. They have other experiences like Harry Potter, White Chicks, and a fan favorite Ratatouille. But be quick though, they sell out fast. They are very accommodating and offer vegetarian options for dinner and non-alcoholic versions of their specialty drinks. Overall, we think it's well worth trying to check off our bucket list and we would do it again, but maybe at a lower price point. However, we do understand the price it is now because it's still a new concept in a small space. But I'd imagine the experience would be more affordable as they scale up into bigger venues. Thanks for watching Finny Bits. See you in our next video.